Hi, everyone. I'm Jackie, and today I'm going to go over the most difficult SAT math question that appeared on the May 2024 SAT exam. Okay, so let's just jump into it. So a very similar question like this appeared on the exam, and it was as follows, 34z to the 14 plus bz to the 7 plus 70 is the given expression. So in the given expression, b is a positive integer. If qz7 plus r is a factor of the expression, for q and r are positive integers, what is the greatest possible value of b? Okay, so here let's take note of what our givens are. So it's given that one, b is a positive integer. So can't be zero, negative, or a fraction. Also, I know that qz to the seventh power plus r is a factor, important. And also q and r are positive integers. Okay, so knowing that, if I know that qz to the seventh plus r is a factor of the above expression, then I can create my own equivalent. So I could also do z to the seventh plus another constant, I'll call it c, is going to be equal to 34z to the 14th plus bz to the seventh plus 70. Okay, so now I'm going to expand the brackets of my factored expression. So this would be um, q, qz to the 14. And then it'll be um, qcz to the 7 plus r to the z to the 7 plus rc is equal to 34z to the 14 plus bz to the 7th plus 70. Okay, so here we can see I have z to the 14, c to 14. So I know for sure q is going to be equal to 34. Also here, I can go ahead and factor out the z to the seventh, and that'd be qc plus r, and this would be equal to e. So I know that qc plus r would be equal to b. Why? Because they both have the z to the seventh in front of them. Okay, so I'm gonna say b is equal to qc plus r. And then finally, RC would be equal to the 70. Okay, so looking at this, I'm trying to get what the greatest possible value of B is. So I could also rearrange this in terms of R and say R is equal to 70 over C. Okay, so now I'm given Q is 34. So 34, I could plug in here. And also I can plug in this for R, so substitute in. So then I would have B is equal to 34C plus 70 over C. Okay. Remember, I'm asked for the greatest possible value of B, and it tells me that B has to be a positive integer. Okay. So knowing that B is an integer, um, there's, oh, why didn't this write? 70 over C. So for C to be an integer here, it could be a number from 1 to 70. Could be, well, an integer could be 1, could be 2, um, could be any even number. But I'm looking for the largest possible value of B. So the largest possible value of C, in which it will still be an integer, it's 70. Um, anything greater than 70, it becomes a fraction. So C must be 70. And then I would plug that in. So 70 plus 70 over 70, which is one. And then that will be 34 times seven, which would be um, 2380 plus one. And therefore B is equal to 2381. Okay, I hope that makes sense and clears up any complications um, that may have occurred on the SAT with this problem 
or a similar problem. So take note of this concept. Take note of how I was able to solve this because maybe you'll see a similar one on your next digital SAT exam. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.